take up a saucer. Good morning, good lunch time, good evening guys, we're back to the channel. Guys, today is gonna to be a banger of a one. So guys, we got a big bag of goodies here today and one of Yako's friends from Croatia was so kind to gift us this bag of treats today. So big, big thank you to Surgeon and uh, Cut. <laughs> so I want to give him and his wife a huge big thank you for this big box big box uh Serge and christina thank you so much and you guys are great and i love the bag and it was such a thoughtful gift and i'm so excited to try all these nice goodies today he has a channel and it's on youtube we we'll put the link down here and you can check it out <laughs> he's going mad here in the background yeah. and we're starting now with <laughs> what is wrong with me today it's i'm too focused on this lunatic here he's like an old fucker <laughs> Oh yes! So this is like a typical Croatian chocolate. People buy this one in particular and another one, if we have it in the bag, as gifts for people at Christmas time and birthdays and all that stuff. Sure, why not? Oh. Ooh. Oh, this looks nice. Were they trying to keep us out of it or? <laughs> what type of plastic is this? Well, they were definitely keeping them fresh. Oh my God, they smell so nice. They smell like chocolate blown off them. The first one looks like a really old kind of classic Irish sweets from back in the day when my grandma used to. It tastes like, is it hazelnut? If I was to compare it to an Irish chocolate, it kind of tastes like Nutella. Mm, very good. I'm gonna give that 10 out of 10. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I would be lying if I said I've never tried this before because this, it's like a cherry liquor. So uh, yeah, I've never tried anything like this before in my life and I was so excited about trying this in the past, but it was probably the most sickness thing I've ever tried then. But we're gonna give it a whack today and see it doesn't have that same sickening, disgusting experience. <laughs> Even the packaging. Oh God, I'm gonna be so sick after this. Okay, this is very cute though. It kind of looks like those Nespresso pods for those coffee machines. I can't even remember. Okay, so it's dark chocolate, so that's that's good. You need to eat the whole one. I am eating the whole one. That's what she that's said. That's what she said. <laughs> no time for dirty jokes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. I can eat that. That's so sick. It tastes like strong alcohol. It's like they put nail varnish remover in the golden chocolate. I'm speechless. They really taste like, and they leave like a burning sensation on your tongue. It is literally like someone put nail varnish remover into a chocolate. It's like someone put 5% alcohol. Is it 5% alcohol? Yeah. Five horsepower. <laughs> it's a 5%. I told you I knew that was awful. But I'm very grateful for anyone that has bought me this in the past. Thank you very much. It was very kind of you. Sorry, I feel bad for saying that, but they are. They're very dark. Are they very? <laughs> you need something to wash it down. Ta-da! The third one. That's upside down. Jesus. <laughs> this I was thinking when I ate this, I was like, this reminds me of something I had when I was younger. And by God, was I right? For anyone out there that is familiar with Liga, those children's biscuits, this is the Liga. They're like baby foods. And they look like this, they look like this, and they're actually quite nice. Obviously I didn't have them since I was a kid, but they're, they're nice. They're kind of going nice with a cup of tea or something. So um, yeah, reminds me of my, my baby times. It was good. Ooh, we got the old Dorinas by the same company. I'm excited for these. Cookie pralines with love. Oh, these are, oh, these are the really nice ones. Okay, I've tried these, well, one of them in a bar in Croatia, but I haven't had these others. So I will try them for the first time and we'll see what they're like. It would be very helpful if they put maybe like a color code or some sort of a thingy in the box so that you know what you're gonna get. <laughs> oh, look at this. Okay, same thing, dark chocolate guys. Looks kind of nice. I'm being, I'm a little bit afraid now. <laughs> because of the cherry one. They look the same. I have trust issues now. It tastes like nothing. <laughs> but 
there's a texture of it's like eating a chalk. Did you ever use a piece of chalk when you were a kid? Jason, I'm not lying. It's, I can't taste anything. Maybe it was the you alcohol and the next sweet. One. It was nice and it's like it had that kind of texture of chalk, which was quite pleasant actually. I enjoyed the texture of that. Hmm. This is so much like white stuff in it. Oh, Kinder Egg. That's it. Guys, we have a Kinder Egg of Croatia. And I don't even know which one it is because the box didn't give us any description. Oh, it's a petite blue. <laughs> Did I say it right? Guys, Kinder Bueno. Croatian Kinder Bueno. Oh, the Croatian favor for when you are sick, guys. Apparently, from what people had told me, this is supposed to be like Vicks or Albus oil in a sweet. It's supposed to be thyme and menthol and everything that I love. I don't know if I've ever shared this with you guys, but when it comes to scents, I love everything menthol. I love mint, I love eucalyptus, I love thyme, I love anything that has that kind of fresh, easy breezy kind of a smell on it. And the name is Bronchi. That's actually very smart, like your Bronchi is in here. <laughs> yeah, is that toffee with? It was very chewy. Oh my God, it's just really nice. It's like aniseed. Fudge with aniseed, guys. I have no Irish kind of. That's right. But that's actually really nice. It tastes like toffee with mint. They were, they were really good. Kind of cleared. Clear the nasal passage. Okay. That's it, guys. We're keeping this with a theme, actually. We're like mint following up with mint. Lignine Notch. Ledna Notch. This is a proline mint filling. Looks very nice, actually. It's very Christmassy. Kind of looking forward to this one. Croatia, you get 10 out of 10 for a sturdy, sturdy ass packaging. Uh, my expert behind the camera said you need to eat all of it in one go. I think it's dark, but I'm not too sure. But it possibly could be milk. Goes very well with this. It's actually really, really nice. It kind of tastes like an after eight. And if you had a shot of mouthwash with a chocolate bar. So if you enjoy swallowing a little bit of mouthwash like I do sometimes. <laughs> I kind of like that, you know, <laughs> fresh feeling. They're very nice. They're like after eight. We'll give them a 10 out of 10 also. Is it too late to say all the boxes are kind of broken? No, that's fine. <laughs> all that chocolate was very yummy. I'm feeling kind of sick now between the cherry, the mint, the chocolate, but Croatia does do chocolate very well. If you enjoy watching our silly goofy videos and you'd like to see more content and extra bloopers in our day-to-day -day lives, why not consider Patreon? This is so annoying because I keep losing my trail of thought. Sorry. If you would like to subscribe or join our Patreon, uh, everything will be linked at the bottom and we would love to have you all aboard our happy little ship here. Jesus Christ, this is so hard remembering all this stuff. Back to my last sentence. I want to say a big thank you to all our Patreons and we really appreciate you and we love that you love our videos and our material and the stuff that we put out each week. Sometimes it is tough and sometimes it is great fun and sometimes I feel like throwing myself over a cliff. I'm losing it. I am totally losing it. I'm talking pure rubbish. I think I need to get someone to do lines for me. Off the subject of chocolate, uh, did anyone out there watch the Eurovision? I never watched the Eurovision actually embarrassingly ever and I did last night and that was something very special. So I would highly recommend if you haven't watched the Eurovision, check out Croatia's number. It was like everyone just fell out of the psychiatric unit and decided to go put, <laughs> to perform on a stage. <laughs> it was very entertaining actually. I thought it was very alternative. That's a wrap guys. Oh, it's not a wrap. Hold on. I need my shtick. It's not a wrap yet. Stay with us. <laughs> we will see you guys next week in the next one and uh, like, love, subscribe, and if you'd like to share it with your friends, families, whoever, we will be grateful. See you guys. Love you. Heart. Bye. Thank God they didn't see me in my pajamas. That would have been embarrassing.